Okay, here we go. Iso line number six. Now, iso line number six, when you take a look at this drawing here, is actually almost like an inverse of iso line four. Take a look at iso line four. Okay, it's almost like an inverse. This piece could probably even fit right into this piece right here. So, same as iso line four, we have a length of five, a width of one and a half and a height of two and a half. So let's draw that shape. R for rectangle. Click once, release the mouse at the origin, move away, and you'll notice I never click a second time. I just type in five comma 1.5. Five for the length, 1.5 for the width, hit enter, and that draws that shape for me. Going back to my PDF, um, let's see here, this is half an inch, tells us right there. What we need to find out is what's this length. And some simple subtraction, we know that this is one. And the overall width is one and a half, so we also know that this is half an inch. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit a P for push-pull. Let me go ahead and bring that up, forgot to do that. Let me type in 2.5 and hit enter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and once again look at the right side view here. And like you've seen me do in my previous tutorials, I can even select the right side view if I want and look at it straight on. Or you may even want to just look at it slightly at an angle. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and hit T for tape measure. This time I'm going to click here. I'm going to come down 0.5. I'm going to hit L for line tool. And I'm going to go ahead and come in half an inch again. Now, there's a few things I could do. I could also figure out the length of this line. So let's go ahead and go back to the PDF. We know that the overall height is 2.5. This is half an inch, this is half an inch, so half plus half is one, minus two and a half, which means that this is a height of one and a half inches right here. Let's take a look, one and a half inches. So let's come down vertically. Let's type in 1.5, and then just come over, click. There it is. P for push-pull, click once all the way back. And there you have it. ISO line number six. Go ahead and save your work and move on to the next drawing.